Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion THAAD missiles. This topic relates to science and tech section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. The recent use of the United States THAAD terminal high altitude area defense interceptors during the Israel Iran war has sparked concerns about the sustainability of this critical defense system especially in the event of prolonged or multi-front conflicts. Military analysts are raising alarms over the rapid depletion of interceptor stockpiles, which could jeopardize the U.S.'s ability to defend against future threats. Drishti IAS in Noida is offering an IAS-GS foundation, prelims plus mains, course in both English and Hindi mediums. The course is available in an offline batch format. Admissions are open for both the English and Hindi medium courses. The location of the centre is C171-2, Block A, Sector 15, Noida, near Metro Station, Noida, Sector 15. For more details or inquiries, you can contact at 87-501-87-501. Now let's discuss about THAAD. It is an acronym for Terminal High Altitude Area Defence, a transportable, ground-based, anti-ballistic missile defense system. First proposed in 1987 and then finally deployed in 2008, the THAAD cannot be used as a form of attack against an enemy. It is designed to intercept and destroy short and medium-range ballistic missiles in their final flight phase. THAAD is coupled with space-based and ground-based surveillance stations, which transfer data about the incoming missile and inform the TARD interceptor missile of the threat type classification. This system has been designed and manufactured by the USA company Lockheed Martin. It has been previously deployed in the United Arab Emirates, UAE, Guam, Israel, Romania as well. Now let's discuss about other important points. The US fired an estimated 60 to 80 interceptors during the 12-day conflict defending Israeli cities and nuclear sites from Iranian ballistic missile attacks. This represents between 15-20% to 20 of the US's globally deployed arsenal of TARD interceptors, a rate that experts consider unsustainable for prolonged engagements. Each TARD interceptor costs between $12 million to $15 million. The operation likely cost US taxpayers between $810 million to $1 billion $215 million during the conflict. The Pentagon currently deploys seven THAAD systems across five air defense regiments, with an eighth system expected to be operational by end of 2025. The US produces only 50 to 60 interceptors annually, meaning the conflict has consumed more than a year's worth of production in just 12 days. Now is the time for previous year question from UPSC CSE Prelims 2018 exam. What is Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, sometimes seen in the news? A. An Israeli radar system. B. India's indigenous anti-missile program. C. An American anti-missile system. D. A defense collaboration between Japan and South Korea. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.